Hello, hello! Welcome back to another video! If you guys haven't checked out my previous little fast tutorial videos, please check them out down below or whatever in the sidebar. They're called tips and devices. This is just a continuation and it's going to be more focused on a specific banner. So today, it will be on Select the Summons. So you guys want to figure out how to do Select the Summons and rerolls? Keep on watching! So select the summons, what are they? Select the summons are basically a group of character summons that you get once you finish 1-10 in the story mode uh, or in the adventure mode. Once you do that, it'll give you a group of summons that you can do that basically gives you characters that you could start out in the game for. So most of the time, you want to go for healers and farmers when you start out instead of artifacts. Artifacts are add-ons to the characters that you help helps improve them in a sense to help them attack more, help them be better supporters, all that good stuff. But you don't want that right off the boat because... How are you going to put artifacts on a character when you don't have the characters itself? One of the first heroes I would recommend is Vildred because Vildred is one of the best farmer early on that you can get without being an ML sum. His first skill helps you attack two characters at a time and if he kills one, his passive basically lets him go again. And also like his third skill is an AoE attack. He says it's a good unit because his first skill is unhealable. Damage dealt is proportional to the amount of enemies lost health. When the enemy health is less than 50% after attacking with Dark Shadow, it gives him a 50% chance to make them unhealable for a turn and can only activate once per turn. Lethal damage. But anyways, he's also a good hero early on for a farmer if you'd like. He doesn't do AoE so he's not as fast. But he is an overall good unit and he can help play into PvP or later on. Ken is an HP based monster. He does a lot of damage due to his health and he also does defense break which is really good. He's not an AoE character like uh, Vildred is but he does get the job done early on. So those are the 5 star heroes but there is a 3 star that you could go for which is Lena. She's a newer character. First skill attacks and she increases her combat readiness by 20. Second one increases crit chance by um, 30%. Third one attacks all enemy with a powerful storm, decreasing combat readiness by 20% before attacking of the caster for two turns before increasing attack. Damage dealt is proportionate to enemy's lost health. When the enemy is defeated with the skill, cooldown does not occur. She has an AoE and it's only a 3 star, meaning you need less for her to skill up on. So these are the options that you're probably going to go for if you want a farmer, right? Well, you're going to want a farmer, so these are probably like one of the better farmers that you're going to go for. So let's talk about healers. There's a lot of healers that you could go for. There's 5 star, 4 star, and 3 stars. So for 5 star healers, I would say Tamarin is one of the better ones. She doesn't do as well because she kind of needs Asteria to do well in PvP, but she is good overall. Destina is a very good healer as well to start off with. And there's a lot of other support characters that you might want to go for. But for 4 star, I personally like Angelica as a starter for 4 stars. Uh, four star healers because my start was a Vildred and Angelica for my main So Angelica provides like a, a barrier and immunity and she heals and she could stun with the first one So she's pretty good another hero would be a Katie's as a four, four star because she dispels her debuffs So she's a cleanser and she heals a proportionate to a caster's max health So more health the better it is for her heals uh, Recovers allies health and gets invincibility and I recover the portion to caster's max health. So she has a chance to attack, to decrease attack with by 35% with her first skill one. But also there is a 3 star healer right here. Montmorency. Montmorency. I cannot pronounce her name so we call her Momo. Because A Momo has a spe or A Momo is her specialty change which you can work on early on if you like. Wait for a bit if you like. It doesn't take that long to do but once you get a farmer it doesn't take that long to do. Basically her specialty change lets her heal and cleanses which is really good and apply immunity with her especially if you soul burn so it's a really good unit and it's only a three star so it takes less to skill up because you use stigma rather than molagaras so those are your heroes that you should probably go for with your selected summons but granted that is what i suggest because having a healer and a farmer lets you progress a lot further and a lot easier rather than getting an artifact or like oh this is a cool five star that i heard of this is a good five star i could heard of or i've heard of but this will help you um advance in story mode because some people really would want you to go for a wyvern starting team but for wyvern there's teams that are free to play that you could go for instead that you don't need five star characters for so i would suggest working on a good starting comp or a good starting team so you can progress further on. So for your selected summons, you get 30 tries for a group summon. You can get 5 stars, 4 stars, 3 stars. You're shooting for 5 star heroes, not 5 star artifacts because you don't really want to get artifacts as a starting call.
couldn't tell i kind of settled with getting ken but this is the best result i've gotten in like 10 rerolls or so some people are lucky because my main it only took two rerolls to get a vildred and an angelica some people may take more some people are picky it's just up to you so basically if you're unsatisfied with your selected summons you can always reroll aka resetting it and doing tutorial to 1-10 again until you get a nice start or you can settle it's up to you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little feel about how to do select summons and what kind of characters you should go for to start out to have a better early game. If you guys want more information just like this, please hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like and a comment to tell me what your starting comp was as well. Also, if you guys did not know, I have a Patreon. My Patreon is mostly, is mostly art and a cosplay. So I have stuff like this, like this, like this, and so much more. So since Epic 7 doesn't have merch, I kind of like to make my own style of merch and whatnot. And you know, it's also another way to support me as a content creator. If you guys would like to check it out, that would be awesome. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. And I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial video. Bye!